right, oh, welcome back. I'm going to tell you a wee uh, Irish Rip style pattern now. Just at the minute, it's really difficult to get, I think most people are finding it difficult anyway to get their hands on uh, golden pheasant body skins. So, I've just been tying some wee shrimp patterns tonight with, this is just the, let's bring a wee bit closer to the camera now to see it. Just this is the French partridge uh, dyed in like orange or solar flare. Um, and you can change the tails out, you can have it natural, you know, some good wee patterns that are really nice. So I just want to show you how to put it together, if you like. So the hook and the vise is a size 10 partridge patriot double in black nickel. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in fire orange. So I'm just going to come in and we'll get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a couple of mil of thread and then remove your, your waist tag of thread. Um, the tag and the rib on the fly is a hot yellow wire by UTC. You could use gold. Um, I just thought that the, the hot yellow, yellow wire, the colour combination worked in well. So just tying this in underneath the shank of the hook and then just working the thread down until I'm sort of way in line with the, the points of the hook. Then I'm going to come round with, because it's wire, five turns I like to take of the wire to create our tag and then on the last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks just going to come around with a couple of turns to secure that in and then just bend and break away the wire or if you have designated set of scissors you could use it use them now the tail you just have to try and look through the packets to get a length of fiber that you like to see um, in your Irish shrimp style patterns now at best even with the larger feathers you're probably only better putting in a two turns maximum just simply because the fiber on the French partridge is just a wee bit denser I think so just a couple of turns to catch in the tip a couple of turns back up over the tip on the haggle then I'm just going to bring my thread just up out of the way just to give me a bit of room to work then I'm just going to come in with some scissors and remove the tip. And just the way you would do with a golden pheasant body skin feather. Just one turn in front of the other. And I'd never get too hung up with the fibers catch now. That's the two turns. So I'm going to get out of that wee fly. Or out of that wee feather, sorry. Then I'm going to bring my thread back into position. Just follow this around. Nice and tight now with the thread turns, just going to keep this in underneath the hook shank and work this up the rear part of the body. Then just come in with my scissors, just make sure if you're putting this underneath, just push your thread out of the way and come in and trim the stem. Now I'll just come in with my, my old normal wisdom toothbrush. Just brush out the the fibers. On the way back down, we'll catch in another length of our hot yellow wire for the rib for a rear body. We're we'll catching in underneath. On the thread down, and once you get down to here, just like to come in and just hold the tail back. Bring my thread tight up against the tail, against the French partridge. And then the body is a large Opal Mirage tinsel for the rear part of the body. You could use gold, gold tinsel, um, gold light bright, anything you've got. So I'm just going to catch in our Opal Mirage tinsel and run this up the, the length of the your body. Then we'll come around with the Ripple Mirage now. Just want to get a nice clean turn onto the onto the tail. Just double checking there. And then just overlapping turns of the Ripple Mirage tinsel. You want it nice and bright because tan this wee fly for nice peaty water. 
or as some folk like to call it over here in Northern Ireland, just nice black water, that black Guinness type water. Now, just come up then with your rib, and you're digging three turns up the body. It's plenty. Follow this around with your thread, a couple of turns to hold, and then bend and break away the wire again. Now you could use a the mid haggle, you could use a sunburst uh, cock haggle. This, believe it or not, it looks like it's sunburst, but it's just a real strong golden olive colour. And this is the cock saddle capes that you can buy from Vanyard. And see the big feathers here at the back? They're perfect. They're perfect for, for salmon flies, um, in my opinion. So I'm just going to get a, a haggle off. And then just going to check the length that I want stroking back the fibers to reveal the tip just come in a couple of turns catches in your tip just fold the tip back bring your thread turns back up over the tip and the haggle then you can come in break away the tip and the fibre on if you buy these wee cock saddle capes they're dense, they're nice and thick and dense. More like the, the fibres at the back are more akin to a, a hand cape, so two turns is going to be enough for me for the mid haggle. Keeping a hold of your stem, never let it go. Follow it around with your thread. Nice tight turns, then you can break away the, the stem. Anything that's going forward, just come in and Sweep that back. Just come in and trim this away a bit. Just come in and sweep it all back. Just come up against your mid haggle, nice and tight, and then just run the thread back up the front part of the body. See again. You want to come in and just open the the haggle favors out. Just come in with your your brush, or you can take your uh, hook out of the out of the face. Just want to open it up there and let you see the bee pattern. Now we're just going to come back in again with our hot yellow wire just for the front body. And we'll just catch this in underneath again. Same again. Just catch it in underneath. Hold everything back and run my thread down to the, the mid haggle. The front body is going to be a, a uni floss in light orange. Nice neon colour. The light orange, so just gonna like this off. Offer this up to the hook, just come around with the turn, just pull it into the, the length of the body, run my thread up to hang this in, and then just much like your tinsels, just want to get a nice clean turn going. At the back, at this point, I just always like to come in and check because you can always go back at this stage. Just run my floss up, follow this around with my thread, a couple of tight turns, come in and trim away the excess of my floss, bring up the rib, three turns on the front body, much like the rear. So there follow this around with a thread a couple of turns then you can bend and break away the wire now we're looking grand not looking too bad the front haggle is just going to be a an orange bodger haggle so just get a wee feather off here cock haggle just going to stroke back the the fibers to reveal the tip and just basically the same that I've done the whole way up. A couple of turns to catch in the tip. Fold the tip back. Bring your thread turns back up over the tip. And just lay down a, a level foundation of thread. Come in and break away the tip. And with my scissors. Hold up the stem. That'll get your fibers to start to come back for you. And then you're just looking one turn in front of the other. And the turn's a haggle. Like I always say, they're up to you. It's the way you like to 
dress your flags the way you like to face them I suppose on the, the rivers that you fish now, I'm just going to put another one on because I just feel it I'm going to have a wee check here just to see yeah, I'm going to put one more in for me anyway to there follow this around with my thread couple of tight turns check the stem on this be a bit thick for me just going to come in and trim the stem away then just at this stage just come in and stroke everything back the ones that go forward of the eye and work your thread back down just getting your materials down here for the your thread turns down for the jungle cut. Now we're not looking too bad. It's going to be a real wee mobile fly. This um, once it gets into the into the water. Now I'm just going to put on some jungle cut. So just two eyes here. Just a wee small eyes. You don't need to put jungle cut on. The fly, the fly will still work. No jungle cat, it's not it's not the cheapest. So I've just got the two wee eyes. Just offer them up to the hook. Just hold them on the hook in the position that you want to tie them in. They're just loose turns just to, to hold them. Then I'm gonna check just to see what way I'm sitting. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna tighten up them with my thread turns, coming back down towards the eye. I'm going to fold the jungle cock stems back and then just build my head up with the far orange thread. Now you want a nice bright head on the fly because that's why you're using the, the far orange thread in my opinion. Nice and bright. So we favour there, just want to get it to step back. And then keeping your thread tight, you should be able to come in and break away the stems now. That wee stem there didn't want to come away from me for me, so we'll just come in and trim it away. No big deal. And then we'll just come in with our whip finishing tool and we'll just knock on a whip finish. Pull the thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away your tan thread. Now, just a seal everything up the head the way I do with all my salmon flies just a wee like a super glue right the whole way right round the head don't want to get into your haggle or any part of the, the dressing and then once that dries guys I'll come in and put on a wee coat of varnish maybe two coats of varnish on the head but there you go, I just, I just wanted to show you that um, it's a pretty wee fly thing, it'll work well in pity water um, and with the way it's hard at the minute to get your golden pheasant uh, body skins um, you have to try and innovate a wee bit in relation to your tails obviously you can use cock haggles, hen haggles but just sort of way like the French partridge because it's got that black tips um, at the at the tip so look tie a few of those up for next season hopefully then catch a few fish as always many thanks for taking the time to view the video I really do appreciate it uh, thanks very much guys if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing helps the wee channel out and until next time folks stay safe and tight lanes